just wanted to give you a bit of an update on to something which I've been asked to get involved with. And um, I got a message on Friday last week, so right at the end of the week, from a guy called Rob Wilkinson. Now, I, I didn't know Rob when he sent me the message, and he sent me the message because he set up a charity boxing event. So it's a white collar boxing event, which is going to be a big London event set up by his company, Crowd With Us, which is a, a crowdfunding platform for developments and other big projects. So Rob contacted me for a reason because he had had a meeting earlier that week with a guy called Matt Sedell. Um, and Matt, again, is a property guy. He runs Corum, the masterminding group, and, um, and he's, he's heavily involved in the London property scene. And I was going to do a white collar boxing event for Max last year, about this time last year actually. And unfortunately that event had to get canceled at quite short notice. So when Rob needed somebody to fill in uh, one of the last spaces, Matt gave him my contact details and, and he asked if I'd be interested. Now I had to have a little think about that. Um, obviously it's not something you want to do lightly, it's, um, it is a boxing event after all. Um, I you know, spoke to my wife about it, she wasn't too keen on me doing it, but we had a chat about it and it was something I felt I needed to get out of my system because I'd uh, said I'd do the one the year before and never actually did it. So on the Saturday I did accept it. Um, I, it's only in five weeks, which is quite a short time frame to train for this kind of event. Quite often it would be an eight to ten week training program. Um, but I accepted it. I'm already at quite a good fitness level because I go to CrossFit and do quite a good fitness routine all of this year anyway. So I felt that I could take on the challenge. Uh, on Sunday night, we had the first group training session in Mayfair, so I went down for that. I did say to Rob that I'm not really going to be able to commit to going to London for a couple of training sessions a week as a group, obviously logistically as we're not based in London, um, but I would be able to commit to doing the training and I'll, I'll set up my own training routine that I'll be able to do to prepare for the event on um, the 1st of June. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a bit of a, a video blog or a video diary to show my training sessions and to sort of document that over the next few weeks. One, to keep me accountable, because if I know you guys are going to be watching it, then I've got to go and do it. And, um, and again, I think it's just interesting content for you guys to sort of see what kind of level that we're operating at. Because what I'm doing is I'm taking the mentality that we bring to property in our business world into the fitness world now. I've got some good results from that this year so far, and so has Lloyd. So we want to show you how we see and the intensity that we throw ourselves into these things. So I'm going to be doing CrossFit in the mornings. I then go to um, the, the Ketchum Park Hotel where we run our training, and they've got a spa facility there. So I go in the saunas, the steam rooms, the whirlpools, do some swimming. Then I've got box, quite a heavy boxing training routine to get the boxing fitness up. Um, along with a few other things we'll no doubt check in as well. So one twist to this is that actually for 10 days before the event, we're going to run one of our retreats out in Croatia. So we're not going to have access to a gym. Um, we're not going to have CrossFit and things like that. So uh, again, it's an accountability for me to keep up the intensity while I'm there because that will be only a week before the fight itself when I come back from there. So we'll see how we get on with that. Um, I'll talk you through it all the way through. I'll tell you when I'm having good days, when I'm having bad days, and I'll show you the routines that I get into. So here I am at um, Wellingborough train station. Um, I'm just on my way down to my first training session down in Mayfair. So um, I'll be meeting all the people for the first time and um, we'll see how we get on. I've literally just had to run for the train. Um, and. Um, I just about caught it, so that would have been a good start missing the first training session. Um, it'll be interesting to see who everyone is and um, you know why they're doing it and what they want to get out of it. Yeah, just see what it's all about really and meet the organisers as well to see what the setup's going to be, what the training schedule and you know how much it's going to take to, to get to the point where we need to be in five weeks. So it's, it's literally, well it's less than five weeks now before the fight night. So um, I'm not really going to be able to make most of the training sessions down in London. Uh, it's important for me to go to this one because it's the first one. But um, you know, it's, it's unrealistic for me to think um, with such short notice that I'll be able to get down to everyone. So I've actually set up my own, my own sort of personal boxing trainer. So along with the CrossFit that I do and you know the swimming every day and all those kind of things, I'm also going to add three sessions uh, with, a, with a boxing trainer now in, in the evenings as well. So we'll 
we'll see how we get on. Right, that's our um, first training session done. Sure How'd you feel? Bit, bit sweaty, bit hot, but it was good fun. It was good fun, yeah. So, um, you want to just tell us a bit about why we're here and why we're doing this? Yeah, so on the 20th of July, I'm actually uh, rowing part way across the Mediterranean from Ibiza to uh, sort of Barcelona to Ibiza for, uh, for charity. Wow. It's uh, the No Man uh, uh, campaign, which is to eradicate to 5% of cancers. Wow. And I have to raise uh, quite a large sum of money to, to do that, and so we're putting on the, uh, the boxing event for that to Okay, so we're doing the boxing to get you to the point where you can do that and then raise another large sum of money, no doubt, for the, for the charity. Let's, let's hope so, yeah, yeah. Okay, excellent. Well, the boxing is going to be a great night. Mm -hmm. I know over at White Box we're trying to bring at least well, a, a, a crowd of people down as well from our network. And you're going to have a great network, you know, what, so your network of people are obviously you're going to find out yourself, you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're going to have a lot of people from that part of the world, mm -hmm. a lot of people from property there, development, so it's going to be a great night to network in. Um, and yeah, so, so it's black tie, three course meal, yep. the uh, Royal Garden Hotel in Kensington, and uh, some uh, yeah, property celebrities and uh, whatnot yeah, in, in the ring, punching each other for fun. Excellent. Right, well, we're, look, I'm sweating my proverbials yep. <laughs> off here, so I'm going to go and get out of this hot sweat box of a building. We'll see you soon, and good luck with the training. Yeah, perfect. Thanks very much. Cool. Right, that's me back from the first training session. Just got back off the train from London. Um, so I met the guys now, you know, everyone's really nice. Um, everyone's got the same sort of, you know, nobody's done this before. It's very out of the comfort zone. So, but you know, it is what it is. You know, we, we know now that we can, it was a tough training session, so we know we can do the fitness side of it once we put the, the hard work in for the five weeks. So, you know, I'm not, I'm not concerned about that side of it. I've got another session tomorrow up in Northamptonshire, so not going down to London for that one. Um, and I've got a sort of a one-on-one -on -one with a boxing trainer. So I've got that probably a couple of times this week. So I'll um, update you on how that goes. But yeah, no, it's been fun. Yeah, the train was packed. I had to stand through most of it because of obviously people coming back from the London Marathon today. So um, yeah, that was a bit unusual. But yeah, it was good fun. Good fun, actually. I really enjoyed it. But I'll keep you updated. So we're in um, we're in Roston at a gym, and we've got a bit of personal one-to-one -one coaching. Uh, I can't make all of the sessions over in London or down in London where the, the other guys are going to be training. I was sort of drafted into this quite short notice. So um, I've spoken to Todd, and Todd's going to give me some one-to-one -one sessions, just get me up to speed because it is only five weeks before the fight. So this will be my first one-to-one, -one, and uh, we'll see how we get on. So I've already trained at CrossFit this morning. And I've already got the, um, I'm doing this now, and then I've got an ab workout that we've been doing as well in a, an accountability group. So, plenty of exercise, so that should be a problem. Right, right, there he is. Right. right, it's rock and roll. <laughs> I got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them. I run through the money, the press will be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Uh, I just was done my boxing for an hour. Um, it was a bit, to be honest, it was a bit scrappy today. That's my third boxing session, but two with Todd. Uh, I didn't feel like it was quite as. Um, I don't know, it didn't come as naturally today. I think he's changed a few things which have made me feel a bit off balance of things. But you know, sometimes it's good to go backwards a bit because then you build with a better base going forwards. So it started to feel a bit better at the end. But yeah, we did a few rounds of um, the same sort of length as I'll be doing at the night, and the fitness wasn't too bad. So I'm quite pleased with that. Um, so today I went to CrossFit this morning uh, for a half hour sweat class. Then it was on to the Ketchum Park into the spa for the, the, the Whirlpool sauna and some swimming. And then I've just done an hour of boxing at four o'clock. So I'm, I'm putting the effort in, you can't, you can't say I'm not doing that. And then tomorrow I'll be back to the same morning routine uh, with CrossFit and, and the Ketchum Park. And then my next boxing is in two days time. So this will be the, that'll be four sessions this week. So as you can see, I'm putting the effort in.